Hello, I'm Rohini Krishnamurthy. I cover science, technology, climate change for Down to Earth. Spheroidal carbonaceous particles or SCP have been identified for the first time in an Antarctic ice core. SCP is a component of fly ash. To read a detailed report on fly ash particles, please click the link in the description below. What is concerning is that SCPs have no anthropogenic or natural sources other than fossil fuel combustion. They are an unambiguous environmental indicator of industrialization. Scientists from British Antarctic Survey and the University College London studied and presented SCP data from annually resolved samples from 1900 to 2011. These were taken from an ice core collected from the Palmer land region of the Antarctic Peninsula. The study provided the first evidence that SCPs have been trapped in ice layers since the early decades of 20th century. Though the oldest potential evidence of SCPs at Palmer was found in a sample corresponding to the 1930s to 1937, the first definitive year identified from the discrete sampling method was 1936. The SCPs identified within the ice core were analyzed using scanning electron microscopy and energy dispersive X-ray to determine their surface chemistry and fuel source. In the past, ice cores have been drilled from ice sheets worldwide, notably in Greenland and Antarctica. Studying ice cores help scientists unravel the composition and timeline of the accumulated samples and measure the temperature and chemistry of air from the past. Atmospheric transport is the main means by which contaminants reach Antarctica. The closest sources are the farthest south in South America. However, the most probable source of the identified SCPs was the Australian coal-fired power plants, some 8,000 kilometers away, with potential additional input from South America in central Chile, 4,500 kilometers away. According to scientists, Atmospheric circulation and transport processes influence the deposition of SCPs in Antarctica. From the 1980s, the westerly winds increased in strength and shifted closer to the Antarctic continent, causing an increase in snow accumulation in the Antarctic Peninsula. This likely played a role in the reappearance of SCPs since 1980, which disappeared between 1960 and 1981. The westerly winds in the southern hemisphere are predicted to increase in strength during the 21st century. This might lead to an increased deposition of fly ash particles in Antarctica. To know more about the latest developments in science, technology and environment, please click on the link in the description below.